So here's another um, mechanism for drawing uh, right stropoid. Um, this one here. Uh, so for this one, let's uh, put our axes in. Um, we have uh, line going up to B. We'll have another um, per uh, parallel to the y-axis, uh, which is allowed to shunt backwards and forwards, uh, pushed by the mechanism. But it stays parallel. It's constrained to stay parallel. So we can do that using our parallel constraint. And then there is a line that comes back from B, um, which is also constrained to um, stay parallel to the x-axis. Or if we like, we make it perpendicular to the new line we've created. And this has got a specific length, A. Uh, also, there's a link from A to C here. Uh, which has the same length. And uh, we can drive it uh, by one of these angles. We could uh, use that one, uh, theta. So now we can watch our mechanism um, do its thing. Um, the point which is going to trace the curve is this point here, the vertical line intersects uh, this line AB. And let's see what uh, curve that in fact makes. As theta varies, um, let me see, uh, is that a uh, curve which looks familiar from the previous um, uh, right stropoid mechanism. And we can now uh, take a look at its equation. Uh, that is uh, partly the equation for right stroke height.